Hey, my name is Lamar Williams, and I'm based out of Philadelphia, PA. Here are the top three reasons why I love being a UGC creator. One, where were you when Paul was sucking at his mother's teeth? My partner here, he would now go inside and shoot your son. Just like what? Just like what? You think you know me? You don't know shit about me. And we ain't gonna get these damn handcuffs off. Yeah. 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 All right, let's get it popping. You feel me? Like I said, yo, we right back at it. All right, so bam, right to it. Places to get experience in acting, you know? What are some places, guys? Very, very simple, right? Open mic places. You feel me? Go to any type that's like an open mic, you know, get in get in a slot, pitch your name down, call, reserve your spot, do all that. You feel me? There's so many different types of like open mics or, you know, um, comedy mics, you know, improv um, nights. There's so many like interactive nights out here. You feel me? All you really got to do is look. You feel me? Like honestly, um, I didn't realize at one point in time how many you know places that I could have went to to you know improve my talent before I really got into this. And so I got um, and so I started getting experience and I started talking to people and started networking with people and they started giving me names and places and I'm like, damn, I heard that before. That's like right there. Damn, I heard that before. That's like right there. Then I just started looking at it up, like yo, near is this, then the third, and they're like everywhere. You feel me? And sometimes your friend or other friends, social media people would be doing their own open mics. You see what I'm saying? And that's like very, very important to do because that's like the very, very first start in general. Because when you're on set or you're auditioning for people, all you're doing is you know saying a role and people is watching you. You see what I'm saying? So if you feel like you're gonna be nervous doing that, then it's best to go to like an open mic type of setting to where. You're going to be in the exact same situation to where you're in front of a crowd and you're going to be talking and then people are going to be looking at you. But if you feel nervous when that happens, you feel me? Normally the crowd is going to, you know, they're they going to feel what you're coming from. You feel me? So they're not going to like get mad or boo you depending on how nervous you are and things like that. So you'll be good. But when it comes to the professional setting and audition, that nervousness, they're not going to want you. Like they don't have time for that. They don't have time to console you, come for you and things like that. At the end of the day, regardless, you should come like you know what you're doing regardless. So definitely go to, you know, places like that. Um, acting improv classes, you feel me? Just look up, you know, acting classes or improv classes. You feel me? Sometimes they're expensive. And then sometimes they're like $20, you know, maybe a membership or $20 a class or something like that. So do that um, as well because I need to get in some more classes, honestly. Um, because, you know, you got to keep on improving your talent, right? Um, also, um, something that you can do. Um, instead of a place, something that you could do as well before you go to that. You know, I've mentioned it so many times in a, a lot of my videos, like skits. Um, you heard that a lot. And I say that because of the fact that that helped me just be comfortable. You know, like, I was always a person that, um, you know, said what was on my mind. You see what I'm saying? And sometimes I, I say things before I even think about it. You know, like sometimes I'm one of them. People be like, think before you speak. Sometimes I speak and then I think about what I just said. You feel me? Like, that's me sometimes. You feel me? But just because of the fact that my thoughts, like if I think of something, like I gotta say it sometimes, you know, like I don't like to sugarcoat nothing, you know, I like to just be cutthroat, blunt, transparent, so I just say what it is, right? And, but when it became like for like camera, um, like I was, it was, it was a shyness, you see what I'm saying? Luckily for me, like I had like over 12 plus experience in sales because being in sales definitely taught me as well. So that's something you could do is right, get a sales job, okay? <laughs> get a sales job little part-time drawing for like a week or two because that teach you you know like confidence from the rip because you're literally going in front of strangers and you're trying to sell them a product that they might not want or need you see like a majority of the time depending on the location and the territory that you're going to you know whether it's door to door like nobody nobody got time for that like i'm pretty sure y'all slam doors on people not slam doors possibly but you know just said no would they answer the door when somebody came knocking on your door to sell something right that helps build so much character, you feel me? Because it makes you um quick on your, your, your um makes you quick on your feet. Your thought process is so much quicker because of the fact that you're so used to people either saying no or rejecting you. But because you're in, you know, sales, they teach you how to overcome and how to, you know, object what they're saying. You see what I'm saying? To where like 
you're listening to what they're saying, but also at the end of the day, you're still going on with the script and then you still can get a sell at the end of the day. Like you're overcoming, you know, rejections and you're overcoming the no's and you're talking to people, you're thinking on improv, a part of a finesse situation to get this person to understand that, yo, I am here to help you. And that's very, very important because when, like I said, when you go in front of people, that's what you're trying to do. You're trying to winning, you're trying to win them over from your personality and your words to buy into the product and the product is you. So you got to realize that, you feel me? So like, that's definitely helped me. But then, um, like I said, so we did the sales thing, but then the skits helped me because of the fact that now I had to be comfortable enough um, doing it, like just myself having a camera in front of me and literally just going and not trying to be too nervous or not trying to stare at the camera when I'm doing the skit. Like when you're doing a video like this, look at the camera, you feel me? But when you're, you know, doing a skit and you're trying to act out certain things, um, you're not supposed to look at the camera, but some people do because they're, if they first time, they might be shy and they might just look at the camera. And sometimes people do it, you know, when they're un unconsciously, you know, unintentionally, but yes. So definitely skits is very, very easy to do. Like just go on your little voiceovers, do a voiceover, just face yourself and start repeating the voiceover because that's all you do with voiceovers. You learn what they're saying and then you say and you act out however you want to act out based on the words. And that's literally improv. You feel me? All the action and all the whatever you do extra that's improv in the situation. You remembering the words is memorization. And that's very, very needed when it comes to a script. Because when they get you a script, sometimes they might say, you feel me, do a cold read. And, you know, read as you're auditioning to the person. Then they might say, you know, try to do it without the script. So you got to memorize it. And then you got to go from memory. You feel me? So this helps with mem this helps with memorization. <laughs> Um, and it brings out different emotions that you're going to display when you're doing, you know, reenactments or making your own sketch. You can pitch yourself into multiple characters, which is going to be good as well. Um, but yeah, some places to go, you feel me, if you're around like the East Coast, um, there's a place called like, there's like Stage Company Theater Arts. Um, there's like a Dramatic Arts, which is like an improv spot. Um, close to the East Coast, like Philadelphia, there's like a Philadelphia acting studio over there. So like... Just look at, you know, local places like that, wherever you're from, just type in there is, you know, dramatic arts or improv spots or this, that, and a third, and then you'll be good. So that's the information on that. But let's get to another video because we got more knowledge to give you Well, I got more knowledge to give you. So let's get it popping. You feel me? Remember, always live by your standard. Nobody else's because only you got your back. You see what I'm saying? Only you know what you need to do to protect you and everything else. Let's get it popping.